Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> in this video, we are going to be looking at something that really should not have even been said, but we are going to look at it anyway. And no, it is not this comment because this is a comment that, well, unfortunately, this is something that it is of Islam says all the time. Jesus is only human and prophet of Allah. If you get the argument down right, you can easily refute this. <clears throat> okay, and I got the argument down. But wait, the Quran confirms the Bible, and the Bible states that Yeshua is the Son of God. And I have create a, created a little poster, and it's a little off center. Let's see if I can bring it a little more centered for you to see. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Boy, as I try to, it does some weird stuff. But I create a, created a slide, and I posted a lot of Quranic verses that stated where the Quran confirms the Torah and the Gospel. Now, one sheikh has been arguing with me that the Quran does not confirm the Bible in that exact statement. And I have been arguing with them. Okay, dude, I can say that it confirms the Torah, the Gospel, and the Psalms. But, you know, I can say it confirms the Bible, and I can post this meme, and this meme has the right language it, in it that it has in the Quran, and you can look it up, okay, I don't care, you can, this slide has the right language. But he is just being a jerk, uh, But what do you expect from a sheikh that is being, that has been taught to, to then demand exact language? I haven't pulled my exact language card yet. I am about to, and, well, when I do, uh, he is going to be sorry that he has pulled that exact language card on me. <clears throat> but, that's the whole deal. I have created this 
Oh, come on. Or do I have to click on the back? Okay, there. I am back. But I have created this little slide with verses from the Quran that shows that their Quran confirms the gospel and the Torah and the Psalms. Uh oh, what happened to... Okay, here we are still. No. What happened? It went back too far. Okay. Okay, yeah, I am right back where I was. Okay. So. And then this guy then says, please see David Wood, apostate prophet, Christian prince, videos on YouTube to know more. Like, as if this isn't enough. And then I said, you forgot to then, you forgot to suggest Rob, Rob, Rob Christian, Al Fadi, and Jay Smith. Go play somewhere else. Okay? <clears throat> All six of these people. All six. If you are new to polemics, are good people to learn Islamic studies from. Take notes and research what they say. So far, I have not found a single thing that they said to be wrong, because I have learned from all six of these people too. Okay? But, as I have said, I have researched everything that they have said. I do not want to be talking to a I do not want to be talking to a Muslim and come to find out that there was a accidental error somewhere. They, okay, listen to me well. I don't think any of them would do it on purpose. I, I just like to confirm. Dr. David would have said this. There is a 99 to 1 ratio. If a speaker speaks to 100 people in a room, 99 people will just believe what the speaker says. And only one person will go home and research it. That is what Muslims do. Muslims will believe what their imam says, regardless how ridiculous it sounds. Okay. I don't think he cares if you 
research what he says. Same with Christian Prince and Rob Christian and J. Smith and Al Fadi. And, and actually, I forgot to add Hatun Tosh. Okay. I forgot to add her. She is also very good to learn from, too. Let me go ahead and add that. Here, real quick, while I'm here. Whoops. All right. So, these seven people are very good people to learn about Islamic polemics. But the key to it is to always research what they are if what they are telling you if they are saying quran 9 verse 5 9 verse what is it uh 9 verse 29 9 verse 111 all says kill the infidels you better either look it up online or grab a Quran and look it up yourself to confirm that they all say, kill the infidels. And then you can create a slide however you want to word it. This is how I have created this slide. Okay. I open up a Microsoft PowerPoint. And I create slides however I want to create. All right. Just however I want. I have got how many? Over 700 slides just in this one. Talking about... different aspects about Islam so that when I talk to different topics, I can quickly go to it and post it. Here is one about a end time prophecy about Islam that I don't think too many people know about. Oops. That there will come a time at the end that there will be people at the mosques, but they will be unbelievers. Oops. An age will surely come when people gather and pray in the mosque while there is not a single believer amongst them. So far, I haven't known of 
Dr. Wood, Dr. Alfadi, or any of the other seven that I have said to even mention this. This is what happens whenever you start learning from a group of people and you expand your knowledge. <clears throat> okay. No one else within the group that I have learned from has ever mentioned this. And that is because I don't, because I have expanded my knowledge beyond what they have taught me. If you choose to learn from the videos that I post, that's fine. Do so. But do not just limit your learning from what I'm posting. Dig a little deeper. As what Yasser Qadi says, take a deep dive. Take a deep dive. I am showing you how I do things. Go even further. Go even further. Here is one other slide that talks about is it 111 chapters 113 chapters or 116 chapters of the Quran and these are actually YouTube on David Wood so that if someone doubts this, they can go and watch the YouTube videos. Okay. So. I don't know how much more I could have put onto one slide. I did, I have got no idea what he was trying to say. How much more did he think that he did he think that I could put on to one slide? All right. So Some of these, some of these guys really should try to keep their comments to themselves, especially something like this. Especially when there is a complex reply like this that has been pre-typed up.
now to go back to where I was because that is what this particular video was actually going to be about. I was going to just point this out of, I don't know what this guy was saying. As you can see, someone have done, made a like about what I was, what, what it was that I said. But in this comment, it has gone for a long way, and as you can see, I have posted the exact same thing. And, but here, it was to a shake. To a shake. Well, you have a conundrum, for the Quran confirms the Bible. Okay, and I use the word here, and... Well, let's go back here, and let's take a look, and I will find that slide. Oh, all right. No, it's not that slide. Not that slide. It's this slide. Well, actually, it is that slide, too, but I have had to fix it. Okay. All right, one of the things I have pointed out, none can change his words, saying basically that none can change all his word is something that I pointed out, okay? Especially whenever Allah claims that the gospel and the Torah came from Allah, okay? None can change his words. And, uh, and, well, here it is again. There is none that can change his words. Okay? And everything on here is a direct quote. Well, all the way except down to here. And these are more that you can find As you wish, if you want to look up even more. But I have done a direct copy and paste all the way to here. Okay. So. Where it states the gospel. It states the gospel in here, where it states Torah, it states Torah. Let's see here. Let me find one of those examples of the, of the scripture. Okay, here is one that says scripture, and, and well, generally speaking, when it states of the scripture, it is talking about the Bible. Okay. Okay, let me go on here. The truth confirming that which that which would be for it and reveal and revealed the Torah and the gospel. Okay, I did not change what was from this particular verse three. Ch chapter 3, verse 3. It has it in the... Chapter and verse of the Quran. 3, verse 3. Torah and Gospel. Okay. In 5.43, it states Torah... Okay, right here. In 
and 546. Again, it states Torah. Even though that I just state the term Bible, again, Torah. The book, which is basically the Bible, Again, Scripture is talking about the Bible. We are Christians. Okay. Of the book talking about the Bible, keeping it in context, okay? This is the slide I created. Okay, here is the one that is from here. Okay, but this and this have actually gotten messed up, so I have just gotten that fixed and uh, just be, just gotten it all redone. So, <clears throat> so then that is not really that much of a big deal. It is still all saying the same thing. Here's the hat one, and I could not undo that of the highlight here and here so that it could be all red. So I just redone it all right here. It is all the same thing. But that is the slide I have created that is sitting right here. That is a lot of stuff on one slide. As you can see, I have even posted some more. I have also stated, see also, 568. See also, well, wait a minute, see also right here. See also, 6114. I mean, I put a lot of information on this slide, and, well, that guy wanted me to go and learn from Dr. David Wood and uh, those other two, please. So, he is telling me that I missed the point from that of the main argument. And wow, quite a lot of people have made a comment on it. Oh, uh, here we go. Don't worship Muhammad. Don't worship Jesus. Jesus, worship the creator of Jesus and Muhammad. And, well, the thing is, Jesus, according to the Bible, created Muhammad. That was the point that I was trying to make. And that he missed. Apparently, he is a Ford driver. And anyone that is young probably don't get that joke. Okay. Hey, according to John 1 1, because this is where I was trying to make that joke, Jesus is the creator of Muhammad. And for. 
other people liked that comment. And this is where we get into this lengthy, and I'm going to go slow so that you can see where we get into this lengthy argument. And I'm not going to go into step by step of the whole thing. We're, I am going to stop right here at the end, or near the end. Where this sheikh proclaims he has information that Paul says wait a minute, right here. Firstly, Paul lied about his vision of Jesus appearing to him on his way to Damascus. Wow, that's a bold statement. You do not know that, and to make that accusation to be equal as to me saying that Muhammad is a false prophet, equal. And I made sure. He understands that is equal. It is, okay, what he said here is equal to me saying that Muhammad is a false prophet. Okay, it is your opinion we can argue both arguments all day, and I doubt either will be settled, especially that of the Islamic side. If you do not want to believe the letters from Paul, that is fine. Your Quran still confirms the Torah psalms and the gospels in which you cannot not deny okay early i said it earlier i said that your quran confirms the bible well he was being very anal about it and so here i said okay fine your Quran confirms the gospel, the Torah, and the Psalms. If you want to be anal, okay, here you go. Here is his next statement. I can prove to you according to his testimony. Notice what happened. He did not try to denounce my statement stating that Muhammad is a false prophet. Where, where is his statement denouncing my statement? that Muhammad is a false prophet. Oh, give me book, chapter, verse. Now, any Christian knows what this means. BCV. Book, chapter, verse. Where? And... Where I, in nearly 2,000 years of scholars, have missed it. And billions of readers have missed it. Even though that would not be too much of a game changer. I would definitely... Oh, not I, but it would definitely change only a few minor doctrine for what you think it might change is found 
in the Gospels anyway. So tell me, book, chapter, verse, and this was three hours ago? I am still waiting for him to tell me where it can be found in the Bible that the road to Damascus was a fraudulent claim. Wow. What a bold claim to try to tell someone like me that has challenged him every step of the way. He should know by now that he wasn't going to get away with just making the claim. He would have to prove it. And yet he still made a bold claim like that anyway. Very interesting. Very interesting. Some things that some of these Muslims do. Some things that some of these Muslims do and think they can get away with it anyway. And this is another lesson for anyone that is a new polemic. If any Muslim makes a claim, make him or her prove it. Because chances are, they are lying. That is their last-ditch effort. I didn't say that they are lying. Okay. I said chances are that they are lying. Just like a comment I made last week when I told people that if a Muslim is quoting scripture regardless if it is from the Bible or from the Quran you better look it up because chances are they are probably lying And the verse on which I made that comment on, they were, they have chopped it into pieces. It 
it was about one fourth of the verse that it was. And when you put it back into context, it was not saying what they was trying to make it say. And when you rip it out of context like that, they are lying. They are deceiving. Muslims don't want you to know a little thing called uh, it's not that one, but although that is what it's called Takia. Here we go. This is the one that I have created to talk about Takia. Permission to lie. In Islam, they are given permission to lie. Now, in its original intent, are you listening to me? In its original intent, it was only if you feared for your life. <laughs> Bless you, uh, me. But that isn't what they use it for now. They use it for any reason. And some Muslims have even tried to convince me that this doesn't even exist in Islam. Really? So, you are calling your own holy books a liar. This is why you need to learn from more than one person. Because... you can learn a whole lot more learning although you can learn this from David Wood but you would have to go back several years back on his on his YouTube 
to find this now. But he does talk about this, I think, at least three times. At least. But we all are not generally talking about the same thing at the same time. And that is why you would want to learn from more than one person at a time. It is like attending college. You are not attending five English classes at the same time unless if that is your well no that is not really a good I uh, that is really not really that of a good a uh, a um, a uh, example you are not taking five algebra classes at the same time. You would might take a algebra, a trig, a uh, and a couple of other different math classes if that is your major at the same time, although that would be a tough load. Wow, that would be a tough load. But you would be learning different m m mathematical at the same time rather than the same math at the same time. So, that is why it's a good idea to be learning from different people of the same topic. This is why I like to use the this is why I like to use that of the Microsoft PowerPoint. I can go here and I can find whatever I am trying to find. If I am trying to find the slide of a about the one we're at, I have on there. The, that a uh, Allah has two sons. Voila. Allah has two sons. Right here it is. And well, if I if I come up with some new information I could put on here, then I can add to it. And then when I need to, then use this then i can um then i can enlarge this to full screen do a print screen go over to where i am needing to and then do a paste right in to chat and boom it is done and i can add new slides i can add some new information to the current slides and I can just keep on adding more and more information. But so far, this guy has not replied back. Well, wait a minute. 
I think he may have just replied. Let's see if he did. Because it says that he did just a few seconds ago, right here. All right, read it. Uh, read it with an open mind, according to this writer and Paul's testimony in the next comment. The Acts nine three, as he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground. Okay. <sighs> Right here, he is telling us nothing that we don't already know. As he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus whom you are persecuting, he replied. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men... Okay, this is probably what he is talking about. Okay. And this can be easily refuted. Jesus was speaking to only to Saul. Duh. <clears throat> Jesus Wow, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. And he said, and in the next comment, he said he was going to send one other comment. So let's see what is his next comment and then about noon came the comment. What? Stop it. Sometimes all right. Uh, Got to get back to where I was. So, the voice said to me, so, so I saw do. Goats. Okay, I think he is probably trying to use different translations. Because I am about to spank him. And let me open a B sword. Because.
as the ones of you that has been seeing how I do things and knowing me knows that I go with the King James translation. And can anybody tell me why? Because it's the one that for the New Testament is the Textus Receptus that is confirmed all the way back to the first century AD. Okay. Okay, oops. Okay, so Acts. What was the other one? Acts twenty six. Fourteen and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, X twenty six. At okay. At midday, O King, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness on the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. Okay. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking to me, saying in the Hebrew tongue, see? He got that part wrong. Saul, Saul, why? Persist thou me, it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I saw, said, Who art thou, Lord? Said, I am Jesus, who thou per persecutest. Okay. So, I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to ask 9, 3 through 7. Did I not just say, if a Muslim quotes a verse, regardless if it is from the Quran or from the Bible, you better look it up. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus suddenly. There shined around about him a light. Okay, do we see what is the difference already? Okay. Do you already see a couple of problems? I do.
Okay. What is his name? S H E I K Sheik Avidu. I probably have to do it in in capital. E I K H Sheik Abdul. Okay. Sheik Abdul Dosan. The first is that you are not using the King James translation. Second is the first passage is stated in a third person's POV and the second passage you pointed is dive oh darn is directly from the point of view of Saul, Paul. Oops, my recollection of your story will not be as accurate as your recollection of that same story. Let's go back up here and not speak to Saul in, in Arabic, but in Hebrew, 
since Saul was a Jew. Sorry, try again. You can find flaws whenever you just take it a little slow and just figure out because you have seen me open up eSword and look at it as he he him which means Saul isn't speaking here in the other one, I, Saul, is speaking in this one. First person, first person here, third person here. Of course, there is there is the potential chance for there to be errors in the third person story. Problem solved. There is no problem. He did not prove according to his testimony because there was only one true first person testimony. The other was a third account recollection. He did not prove a thing. <laughs> Bravo, Shake. Bravo, Shake. Bravo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have got some very special. I have. I have. I have saved some very special. Sound effects. Where are they? Where are they? Wait a minute. Where are they? Where are they? No, I want you over here. I want you over here. Um, mini clips, and let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, here you go, Shake. That actually might be a little too harsh. Um,
or even maybe we should go on with this one. Wait a minute, let's uh, do it again. Let's do it again. All right. All right, I have had enough there for a while. Okay. Uh, yeah. When you miss, they are small words, and yet they change the point of view so big, even with whatever translation that he used. It shows up as he. He, on his. And then on the next one, as I, I, he, that is something that I have to admit with, with him though. He have actually almost quoted, and I don't know which one of the, uh, Whereat he have got this particular translation because Saul was not an Arab. He was a Jew. So, which means that he spoke Greek and Hebrew. He might have spoke also that of a, he might have might, and I'm saying the word might, 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 might have spoken Aramaic, but his native tongue was Hebrew. So why would Jesus speak to Saul in a non-native tongue? Okay, so I don't know what translation this is, but I do have to give it to the sheikh for at least doing this copying and doing that of a what it what would this be about a 98 percent accurate copying <coughs> okay you don't find that often most of the most of the Muslims don't even do that accurate, but maybe he did a 98% accurate copy because he knew who he was dealing with. Maybe. I don't know. The thing is, I still went and checked what he posted anyway. And that is what you need to do. Check and post what Muslims copy and paste, whether if it is biblical or Quranic scripture, unless if you have memorized it, like, for example, John 3.16. 3, Almost everybody knows what that verse means or says, okay? Look it up, unless if you have already memorized it. 
and then you know what it says. You have seen me do it live. Live. Whenever this shake have posted it. I have refreshed the page. You have seen it. Just now. Boom. Just now. Boom. And I looked it up. Just to make sure. I knew the story. But I went and opened up the e-sword. By the way, it's free. For the most part, there is a few, tr few, there is a few Bible translations that, if you want, it used to be ninety-nine cents. I think that those might have gone up, but for. E-Sword, King James, it's free. And all that, well, I don't know if you was able, yeah, you was able to see all this. All this is free. All that you see right here. All of these tabs that you see, even over here and down here. And over here, they are all free. Okay. There are some, like I said, that if you want... to... I think this one is like 99 cents right here. Okay. But, and see, there's even French. There's, there is also Farsi. There is... There is also, it is, oh, 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 oh. there is a lot. There's Greek. Okay. There is a lot of different languages that you can download. Okay. Uh, if you are someone from that of the... It is of the Philippines, okay? Right here. Okay. Turks, Urdu, it is of the Vietnam. Okay. But I don't see we're at. The ones that cost. I know that there are some of them that cost. But it is only really a few that do cost. Huh. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, now I see. Yeah, way over here. If it says to the... It is of 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 of
if it says to then uh, purchase these cost all these right here cost right here and I wish that I could could then buy these except for right here and I would not want to to then buy this one but you know that is my own personal choice but you know there is a lot of stuff free on eSword But going back, he have did a almost direct copy and paste, and he missed the he and the I. Okay. He have small words, but changes the point of view. What it is that you say about your actual story will probably be very different very different from how I would probably portray your own story. And yet he have missed it. So I was right way back here when I was uncertain. Oh, give me book chapter verse. Where I and nearly 2,000 years of scholars have missed it, and billions of readers have missed it. We didn't miss it. He missed it. Shake, I'm sorry. But you have missed it. guys that is it for that is it for this particular video thank you and have a great day